Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show, and welcome to another episode of Un 30 Inks, 30 Days. How is everyone doing today? Are you having a nice day? I hope you're having a nice day wherever you are in the world. I'm going to, at this moment, I'm going to share this with my friends. I would encourage you at this time to share this with your friends so they can come and hang out with us too. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we're going to share this to the blogger <clears throat> and to the LinkedIn and to the Tumblr and to Facebook and to Reddit and Twitter. And Pinterest. All right. So, today we're looking at a red ink. This one from Dominant Industry. This is a pearlescent ink. Dominant Industry Christmas Red. Now, um, I should probably tell you that I didn't shake this up before I inked it. So, I might, I think I'm going to do this one again. Yeah. As you can see, it's very pearly in there. So, and I didn't want too many shimmery particles in here. But you know what? <clears throat> this is a shimmer ink and it should be celebrated. So I'm going to pour that back into there. And then I'm going to dunk it again. Wipe it off. We're going to see how quickly this ink clogs up this pen. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a great time, I can already tell. <clears throat> Let's see. Come on. Oops, did I grab two? I grabbed two. Oops. <clears throat> Yeah, I can tell already that the, um, I, I forgot to ink this, to re-ink this up. Sorry about that.
I does take into consideration that there is supposed to be shimmer in this ink, so you, if you don't want shimmer in your pen, what you can do is wait till it settles to the bottom and then fill your pen. I know it doesn't seem like a, a thing most people would <clears throat> want to do, depending on the, the pen and ink that you're or the pen that you're using, because if you're using one with the fins, like a Yobo nib feed, you might have a problem with uh, the clogging issue. But, um, alright, here is our ink, ink comparison panel. Look at all that beautiful gold sheen. Uh, the gold shimmer, I mean. Woo! Look at all them sparkles. Super pretty. But if you don't have any sparkles, it's still a really nice red. Very nice Christmas red. <clears throat> Which means that this is ac inaccurate also. Uh, that was a bad swatch anyway. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna re-swatch this. And, um... Oh shit. I I forgot to mark it off. We'll do the water resistance test after I finish. So these will all need to be taken with a grain of salt. Just know that there is supposed to be shimmer in the ink and I, and I forgot. Let's just use this one for now, <clears throat> and then we'll do the other one when we're, when we're finished. Okay, so here is our ink of the day. Thanks go out to Gary and Kathy Scott for providing the sample for this review. Today's pen, we will be using the um, Hongdian N8 with a maple in maple red. This is such a beautiful pen. I just, I just love it. And the nib and the feet is ebonite. And the, and the, the, the nib is super nice now that I've smoothed it out a little bit. So, alright, here is our ink swatch. Here are our ink swatches. One without the shimmer and one with the shimmer. And the water resistance test shows that I might not want to be able to use this on an envelope for fear it may wash away. And here's our toilet paper chromatography. I see like a pinky purple and red and orange. So that's very interesting. Okay, let's take a look at some paper review, shall we? This is the Pen and Gear Memo Book from Walmart.com. Now these, again, will need to be taken with a grain of salt because <clears throat> I forgot to refill my pen. <laughs> these would have shimmer if they, so, yeah. 
No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. So, uh, lightweight traveler's notebook paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Super lightweight traveler's notebook paper. No feathering, normal ghosting. Moleskin 70 GSM. This is probably the least feathery I've seen in ink, but it is feathering just a little bit, and it did bleed through the page. I would not use fountain pen ink on this paper. 52 GSM Tumaway River. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Ayush 100 GSM paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. The Jot Journal from the Dollar Tree. No feathering, no bleeding, no gusting. Marmon Nemosony. 80 GSM dot grid. No feathering, no bleeding, no gusting. Oxford Optic Paper. 90 GSM. No feathering, little bit of ghosting. Claire Fontaine, 90 GSM, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Lamy Booklet, 90 GSM, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is a relatively cooperative ink so far. Exceed 100 GSM heavyweight paper from Walmart.com, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Wow. This is very cooperative so far. Unison composition book from Target. No feathering. A little tiny bit of ghosting, though. Wide roll notebook paper from Up and Up. Target.com. No feathering. No bleeding and one little tiny bit of ghosting. True Red Composition Book from Staples.com. No feathering. No bleeding, but little tiny hints of ghosting. The Nanami Seven Seas, 68 GSM Tumoe River. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Rodia Dot Pad, 80 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. CVS Caliber Notebook Paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Oxford Notebook Paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Wide roll, uh, Mead Wide Roll Notebook Paper. Does look like it's trying to feather into the page, and it did ghost through just a little bit. This is Mead, five star notebook paper. Is trying to spread into the page. And it did ghost through the page. HP Premium, 32 pound copy paper. Barely any feathering or spread, and barely any ghosting. Akabe cross section pad. No feathering. And only a little bit of ghosting. JNB Copper Plate Graph Pad from JohnNailBooks.com. No feathering. And only just the tiniest hint of ghosting. Original Crown Mill 100 GSM paper. No feathering. And barely any ghosting. Okay. Pretty cooperative ink so far. Let's do a comparison panel. Now, which one should we compare with? I'll just do both of them, because YOLO. Alright, here we go. This is Dominant Industry Christmas Red next to Diamine Red Dragon, these are kind of similar. Pure Pins Cod Walder, these are kind of similar, but this is a little bit darker. 
Let's see, how about Rouge de, Rouge de Orient? These could be twins. Ferris Royal Press Royal Rhubarb, Paveco Ruby Red, Stipula Florentine Red, Monteverde Valentine Red, Diamond Oxblood, Stipula Dark Red, KWZ Red Number One, Diatramentus Document Red, Noodlers Rattlers Red Eel, KWZ Thieves Red, Diamond Matador, Diatramentus Oriental Red, Diatramentus Document Dark Red, Troublemaker Basilica Red, Diamine Poinsettia, Blackstone Uluru Red, these are kind of similar, Bakersfield Food Color Red, Colorverse Dark Energy, Diamine Raspberry Rose, Sailor Grenade, KWZ Red Cranberry, Ackerman Stone Red, Monarca Cardona, Sailor Mano Umi, Monteverde Cherry Danish, Venta Cicatuna, Robert Oster Aster Kizarat, Monteverde Passion Burgundy, Colorverse Hubble Zoom, Diamine Deep Dark Red, Diamine Robert, Monteverde Blueberry Muffin, Mont, Mont Blanc Madena Red, Krishna Primary Red, Waterman Audacious Red, KWZ Sparkling Cranberry, Ackerman Charlac and Von Jonstein, Diamine Red Robin, Monteverde Love Red, Monteverde Strawberry Shortcake, Diamine Vermilion, Twisby Crimson, Tasha Aka Red, Sailor Irori, Pilot Red, Diamine Ho Ho Ho, Ferris Wheel Press Algonquin Maple, Colorverse Felicity Glistening, Uli Red, Hero Red Number 201, Colorverse Alpha Scorpy, Diamine Firestorm, Parker Quink Red, Diamine Poppy Red, and Noodler's Tiananmen. Phew! What did you guys think of today's ink? Are you guys looking for a red ink with some gold shimmer in it? Look at that gold shimmer. Woo! All right, let's do the. Come, let's do the. Uh, you can see all that gold shimmer in there. Okay, let's do the water resistance test. So when I do my water resistance test, I take a little paintbrush that I use to, and then I go over it like so to see if there's any and I give it a little zhuzh because if it's gonna get hit in a rainstorm on a on a um, envelope it's definitely gonna it's definitely gonna have some uh, some runoff. So, water resistance test shows that I might use this on the outside of an envelope, but I would have to be seriously considering it because it does look like it is gonna lift just a little bit. Maybe just enough to not want to use this on the outside of an envelope. Because I don't want it to wash away when you're writing things on an envelope. You want them to stay put. So. Vata is a vata. Do you guys have this red? Are you guys... Looking for a red with sparkly ink? Let me know that in the comment section below. Also, tell me what pen and ink you're using today. And that is all for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the little bell. Make sure it's up to all. So when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you, and I will be back very soon with another video. So, take care until then. 
Okay, love you. Bye. Have a great day. Hi, Kathy. How are you? Uh, this is a good one. I like it. All right. We'll talk to you later. Have a good day.